Hello and welcome to the tutorial to show you how to use the 7-zip encryption software. I'm going to show you three things. The first thing is how to encrypt your files. The second part will be how to download the software at home so you can access your files. And the third part is how to decrypt your files so that you can um, use the information that is within them. So if you imagine here I have some files and uh, information at work and I want to take this home or I want to send it to somebody else. However, at the moment, anybody can open this file and they can access any of the information that is available. What I want to do is encrypt this so that if uh, somebody who should not have the file finds it or it's stolen or it's lost, then nobody will be able to open it up. What I need to do is right click on the file. I'll move down to 7-zip. And what I want to do is add to archive. There are two settings I need to make on this. The first one is to ensure that I have selected the zip format. The second setting is to ensure that the encryption method is set to the AES256. This is the uh, standard encryption setting um, for secure data transfer. You can also add a password if you want to. So now I press OK and you'll see that it creates a second file with a tiny little zip down it and this is my encrypted document. So this is the original document which anybody could still access and open but this one here is now encrypted and secure. So if I open this up and I try to open the data it won't allow me to extract it. What I could then do is copy and paste that onto a memory stick or uh, email it to somebody. And again, this is a secure document zipped folder containing the information which is encrypted. So here is the data zip and I could obviously add the email and then send it off. If you're trying to access the um, data at home, you may need to encrypt it, you may need to decrypt it. What you need to do is first of all download the 7-zip software. So in Google, if you type in 7-zip and search for the software, it's the first one here. There are several versions available. You've got a 32-bit or a 64-bit. If you're unsure which uh, version to use, if you go to My Computer, right-click Properties, and then on Windows 7, it will tell you the uh, operating system bit that you have. So I've got a 64-bit here, so I need to make sure that I download the 64-bit version. Obviously, click on there, uh, download it, install the software. It will install it into your programs, and uh, you have the software. This allows you then to decrypt and encrypt uh, documents. So if I uh, have a memory stick at home and I've brought this work home, Obviously, I wouldn't have brought the top two documents home because they are unencrypted, they're unsecure. I've taken this one home, which I want to access at home. The first thing you'll notice is if you click on it and you try to open it, it won't allow you because it is encrypted. If you try to uh, right-click, copy it, if you try to paste it somewhere, you'll get an error. Okay. It says an uninspected error is keeping you from copying the file. This is because it's encrypted and password protected. You can try as many times as you want. It isn't going to work. Um, what you need to do is right click on the file, go down to 7-zip, and you need to go to Open Archive. This will list all the files that you have. Obviously, in this example, I only have uh, one document, so there's the other one here. Double click to open it. It will then prompt you for the password. Press OK. And now you have access to your document. And I can save it again. What you'll notice, because I've edited the document, it's asking me, do I want to update the archive? Yes, I do, because I want to uh, ensure that it's encrypted. So press OK. It now updates this document in here, which again is secure. So double click, can't open it. Right click, open archive. Open the document, password protected. 
And here is my new file opening up. And there is the new data. Uh, if you have a lot of information or data and files, folders, you might have a, a yellow folder. You can do the same thing as you did with the single file document. Basically, to encrypt it, you right click on it, WinZip, add to archive. Again, ensuring you've clicked 7-zip and uh, AES256, press OK. And this, again, is your encrypted folder. Uh, all, inf all documents in there will be encrypted um, and uh, if they are stolen or lost, uh, nobody else will be able to access them. They would obviously need to have this software um, and obviously the password to be able to, um, to, to be able to access it. The key point is don't send the document or the file without the zip because if you send that you are sending unencrypted data and uh, it is unsecure. Anybody can access it. Make sure you always send the zipped one.